Hey y'all, today we're doing a weekly reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Jupiter. And this is like the fourth day in a row it's been raining here, so I'm sorry about the background. I've already pre-shuffled the four decks we're going to be using for the reading, and that'll save time for y'all on the video. This first one is going to be three cards for the general environment. Anything that you should be mindful of or be aware of or what's coming, what may be around you. Then we're going to pull a spread for the person on your mind, the energy that's between you and them currently. Then we're going to pull an outcome spread and advice cards. And this is for Virgo. And since it's a general reading, you can always swap the roles around to make it fit if that works better for your story. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. That flip. Judgment in the reverse. Eight of Swords in the reverse. And the Six of Cups. So the first thing I feel like is... Let's just apply this to a job and then you can apply it to whatever it's actually meaning because it's just energy. And I'm my intention is for it not to be a love-related thing. The underlying energy is the Nine of Cups. So something that you would desire, getting something you want. And the way you go about it is by going back to your first love. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about if you want to get out of your head... It's like you need to go back to doing something, maybe daily or weekly or whatever. It's something that you already know you love to do. So it could be painting, it could be drawing, it could be exercising, whatever it is for you. There's something that you've done before, maybe like a long time ago in your past or recently that you don't do anymore. Whatever that is will help you get out of your head. So, whoever needs to hear that, because it's, it's um, judgment reversed, eight of swords reversed, and six of cups. So, something that you've done a long time ago, if you'll get back into that as a routine, just add it into your life somehow, even if it's just in a small way, it'll help you, and then you will get out of your head with, with overthinking about things in general. So, whoever needs that. So let's get the first spread between you and the person on your mind. This is just going to be the general energy between you and them. The mutual energy between you and them, Ten of Wands. So overall, no matter what comes out, this is a very, like it's a burden. This connection, you perceive it as a burden being connected to this person, whoever this is on your mind. So let's see what else. So, you have on your side the Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Three of Wands reversed. So, there could have been some third energy in the way between you and this person on your mind. I don't feel like it has to be a boyfriend or girlfriend. It can be that this person works too much. It can be this person's cousin gets in y'all's business. Whatever it is, it's just a third energy that doesn't need to be there was involved in helping break down this situation. Even though you're recognizing that, you don't really have any expectations that this is going to go anywhere as long as the third energy is there. But you can't help with that page of wands be curious, is this going to be forever? Is this third energy going to keep on causing this to break down? Is it going to stay like this from now on? I feel like you're wondering that. It's like you have this curiosity about you regarding this situation. And sometimes that might be what gets you overthinking in your mind because you get to thinking about this situation because you realize that the problem that broke this down was that third energy. And that's what's got you burdened. And I don't know what has this person burdened, but that there's three threes on the board out of nine cards and they're all in the reverse. So, I'm, I feel like there's some kind of third energy, like I said, that broke this apart. This person has the devil card in the reverse, the sun in the reverse, and the three of swords in the reverse. So, they're trying to work through the fact that they have a lot of pain towards this situation. They're, trying, they're calling themselves trying to deal with that. And if they had any kind of toxic patterns, okay that manifested when you and this person were interacting, they're trying to also break through those patterns. The only thing I will say is, with the devil card being in the reverse, you can think of this as maybe this person is no longer, you know, 
doing whatever these patterns were, but it's because you and this person are probably apart. So if you and this person came back together at this moment, this would pick right back up where it left off with because they haven't completely extinguished that devil energy, that pattern. But just for in their defense, they are working through that energy. But they just have a general unhappy outlook on this whole situation, like where it's going currently. And I think you do as well because you feel like you know what the problem is. It's just, you're just wondering, is this going to stay this way forever? The mutual energy between you and them is the Queen of Wands in the upright, the Two of Pentacles reversed, and the Hierophant in the reverse. A general feeling of instability between you and this person, but there's still a lot of passion between you and them. Even though you may not be talking to them, there's still a lot of passion there that hasn't died off. Even though whatever's happened between you and this person, the passion is still like hot and heavy there with the Queen of Wands. But at the same time, it's a burden. And for all the basic reasons I just rambled on about. So let's get the outcome. What is the outcome for Virgo in this person? This is just a weekly reading, so it doesn't have to be like it's going to change like this forever. It always changes, but what is the general outcome for this situation for Virgo? All right, so the mutual overall Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So one thing I will say about that is that the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is not a bad card at all because the potential of something happening good and positive and grounded can happen still. It's just there's other things that have to be moved around to take place. You know what I mean? This person pulled the devil in the reverse again. So I'm telling you, it hasn't changed in a week's time. It's not something that's going to change in a week's time. This person has some kind of toxic pattern. Everybody will be different for what it is, but they have that pattern that if you and this person immediately come back together, it's going to be, it's going to pick right back up where it left off. They've also got like an attitude problem towards this situation. Maybe it's because they can't have whatever this third energy is and you at the same time, that kind of thing. So, okay, on your side, you got the Page of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Emperor card. I honestly feel like that is you realizing that you don't... Like, at first, maybe, it's like, okay, am I going to learn this lesson about competing here? No. I'm. Yes, I'm going to learn the lesson. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stand in emperor mode. It doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. It's like bossing up to the fact that you don't have to compete for anybody's attention. You can work on your belief systems around that with some affirmations for, like, two or three weeks at night. And that'll help you break that anyway. If you still have that feeling like you need to compete, don't do that. The heart of the spread is the three of swords in the reverse. So overall, a sense of both people having that heartbreak, but working through it. And that also speaks to a third energy again. So it's got to be there. There's got to be some kind of third energy going on between you and this person. I do notice the knight of cups is here. So there could possibly be some kind of communication. If not, it's just like that energetic, emotional feeling towards the person. And they're starting to realize that they have those emotions because the Eight of Swords is in the reverse on their side beside it. It's like, as you stand in your power, see, because we all, we're all connected and we affect each other. So as you get in this energy, am I going to learn, Page of Pentacles in the upright, learn about competing for this third energy, whatever's in the way. And as you decide to stand in this power, then they start to stop ignoring the emotion that they have. It's like it, it triggers a whole domino effect. Yes, they have the emotion. They already had the emotion anyway, but it's like now they're, they're, they're going to choose to stop ignoring it. And what's it going to take for that to happen? You to stand in your power pretty much. So, I feel like there may be some realizations on this person's side about that. But just don't expect Rome to be built in a day. That's all I can tell you. Because the Ace of Pentacles is a slow-moving card. And when it's in the reverse, it's like the potential is there for things to happen. But the things have to happen in the correct order, in the correct way. 
So everybody's different. How long will it take for you to stand in your power and focus on yourself and realize you don't have to compete for anything or anybody? You're good enough on your own. All right, Virgo, let's get advice. We're going to get five advice cards. Look at there. That's a beautiful advice card right there. Five of Wands in the reverse. What is that telling you? You have no need to compete for anybody. Look at this as a learning process. Like you're starting over as a baby with the Page of Swords. Be open to learning. And don't put your life on hold for this person with that Three of Wands in the reverse. Don't expect them to turn out a certain way. Just continue to focus on self. Focus on self. Work on yourself. Realize that you do not have to compete for anybody's attention, time, or love. And then you will be amazed at what will unfold in your reality. All right, Virgo, that's been your reading. And thank you so much for watching.